Yoohoo! Today I will take you to Sydney, but we will not take a look at the Opera House, we will not take a look at the Harbour Bridge, but we will have a look at the Mint in Sydney. The Mint in Sydney was in operation from 1855 until 1926, so it has been closed for quite a long time. In the mid building you will still find the bullion room, but it is a cafe with sandwiches and salads. In the back of the cafe there's a tiny tiny museum with some gold coins. When you cross the courtyard, you will enter the old working facilities of the Mint. Nowadays you will find a library there, but in the library you still find the old safe. And in the hallways you still can see the old ovens to melt the precious metal. Let's have a look at some coins from the Sydney Mint. This is the one penny and the date is 1926, which is the year when the Sydney Mint closed down and minted coins for the last time. So I checked Nomista and for 1926 it said that this coin is not made in Sydney, but apparently in Melbourne. The coin has no mint mark, so you cannot tell if it's Sydney or Melbourne. But as per Numista, this 1926 coin, unfortunately, Melbourne mint. Second coin is a half penny, and this half penny is from 1919. And yes, according to Numista, it's definitely minted in Sydney, in the Sydney Mint, more than 100 years ago. Condition, well, the coin is over 100 years old, so yeah, it looks used. The mintage for this coin is, or was, back in the days at least, 3,326,000. Lovely coin. So I know I at least own one coin, this coin, which was minted in the Sydney Mint. Coins nowadays, like this Dinosaurs Down Under, yes, they mention four different mints, but if we zoom in, you see that only this one coin has a proper mint mark because Canberra is the only working mint. And then they produce for the collector's market for the Brisbane mint, Melbourne mint and the Sydney mint. They produce coins but not with a mint mark but with a privy mark. So if you look down here there's a tiny S for Sydney, but that is not the mint mark, that's a privy mark. And this is the location of the mint in Sydney. And as you see on the map, opposite you find the Reserve Bank and the Museum of the Reserve Bank. When I wanted to visit the museum, it was closed. But it was closed already for three years. So no idea when it will open again. The staff told me it's temporarily closed, but hey, three years is a long, long time. The only thing they gave me as a souvenir is this little leaflet for the museum. Um, but, well, the museum, for me, 
it was closed. If you have a chance to be in Sydney, have a look if it's open. Of course, I had to visit the actual Reserve Bank as well and ask for coins. But no, the Reserve Bank does not have coins. No coins at all. But they have shiny, shiny bills. So I got a $5 bill, which is roughly 3 euros each. And these bills, yes, they are brand spanking new. Shiny, shiny. And the cool thing is, they are that spanking new. They have running serial numbers. So if you are looking for banknotes in Australia, have a look at the Reserve Bank. Maybe they can help you out. I hope you liked. See you in the next one.